This guy stole into the Fukushima exclusion zone, and the photos he's taken are astonishing. As Kiao Wei Long steps over the threshold of a long abandoned supermarket entrance, a haunting sight reveals itself. The photographer carefully makes his way through the piles of groceries that are strewn about the aisles. The stillness of the heavy, toxic air seems at odds with the havoc that looks to have taken place here in the Fukushima exclusion zone, where few people have set foot in five whole years. The 27-year-old Long hails from Malaysia and describes himself as a photographer and explorer. And so, in July of 2016, he visited four abandoned towns in Fukushima, Japan with his buddies, Shirenge Ing and Koji Hori. The exclusion zone itself was set up in response to the disaster which occurred at the area's nuclear power plant in the aftermath of the Tohoku earthquake and tsunami of March 2011. It had been a lifelong dream of Long's to explore a deserted town, because when sharing this astonishing series of photos on Facebook, he joked that he'd always wanted to be alone in a supermarket to eat all the chocolate up. When he first tried to get into the exclusion zone, however, Long found himself facing a number of bureaucratic obstacles. But apparently too impatient to wait the three or four weeks necessary to get a permit, he instead snuck through a nearby forest with his friends in order to bypass the security surrounding the area. However, exploring the exclusion zone proved to be a strange experience for the photographer and his friends. Stores still carried books, magazines, and films from 2011, and the laundromat still had abandoned clothes in some of the washing machines. And in Okuma, one of the four towns long visited, the traffic lights were still operating, despite there being no one left in the town to use them. Undaunted, Long and his friends also journeyed to Tomoika, Nami, and Futaba. The Fukushima nuclear disaster in March of 2011 was the worst of its kind since the Chernobyl accident in 1986. In fact, those two are the only disasters ever to be designated with the maximum grading on the International Nuclear Event Scale. Construction of the nuclear facility in Fukushima began in 1967, with the plant commencing operations four years later. Somewhat ironically, it was originally scheduled to be shut down in early 2011, but sadly the plant was renewed for a further 10 years of operation in February of that year, only a month before the catastrophe occurred. The disaster was set in motion by the tsunami that followed the Tohoku earthquake, the epicenter of which was around 70 kilometers east of Japan's coast. difficult to know when to allow residents back to their homes. Nevertheless, the impact on the wildlife in the area is estimated to be negligible, according to a 2014 study. Indeed, radiation levels are apparently not serious enough to stop local plant and animal populations from thriving. For now, though, there are no human populations in the exclusion zone. So when Long ventured there with his friends, he found these eerie scenes. Snapshots of the terrifying moments after a disaster frozen in time. Because of the radiation levels, the trio couldn't stay too long, despite being equipped with gas masks. While there, however, they managed to capture an essence of the atmosphere that now envelops the area. And while Long has enjoyed a moment in the spotlight thanks to his bold images, not all reactions have been positive. Indeed, many commenters on his Facebook page have strongly criticized his actions. One particularly unhappy commenter even posted an open letter on his blog claiming Long's tarnishing of Japan's image for personal gain is irresponsible and distasteful at best. The blogger, known as Pierce, cited a Fukushima resident as saying Long's actions were 
illegal, and extremely disrespectful. Yet, whatever the rights and wrongs of his work, there's no denying that Long's photographs offer us a unique and intriguing insight into a remarkable place. For five long years, the areas remained completely untouched, seeing it now as fascinating and moving. Please don't forget to share this video with your friends below. Please don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell to receive everything that's new. Thank you.